I'm going to show you how to add a tree map in PowerPoint using the Engage add-in. So first you want to make sure that you're on the Engage tab and then select Infographics. From there you'll see the tree map, so go ahead and double click on that and you'll see the tree map appear uh, as well as this dialog box. So I'm going to go ahead and close this dialog window and I'm going to select the tree map, I'm going to move it down a bit and uh, I'm going to move it over the left using the Align to Grid option. So I'll just align it to the first column. If you haven't seen the Smart Grid system, you can just click on the Smart Grid button. You'll see 12 columns appear. And when you select any object, um, you can easily just align it to whichever column you wish. So in this case, I'll just go back to the first column. Okay, so this is the tree map. And uh, it's a great chart that lets you show a lot of data in one slide. Um, so to get that dialog box to appear again, you simply click on the tree map and then you'll notice these two gears appear. So click on that and you have access to the dialog window again. So from here, um, I should mention that every single infographic here is tied to an embedded Excel worksheet. So what that lets you do is it lets you update the data very easily in Excel. And the way you access that worksheet is by uh, clicking this edit data button so I'll go ahead and click that. So here's all the data. So there's two dimensions of data. Um, I've got my labels, and then I've got uh, my area values, and then my fill values. So um, in this case, if I were to change this value for the United States from 2.9 million to 1.9 million, um, I'll just go ahead and show you what that does to the tree map. Um, because this is an Excel embedded worksheet, uh, you don't have to save this file, it, that happens automatically. All you have to do is once you've finished making your changes, you uh, just close the file and you'll notice it'll redraw the tree map. Uh, so United States value will go from, there it went, from 2.9 million to 1.9 million. Um, so what this uh, dialog box lets you do, it, in addition to letting you update the data via Excel, it lets you um, modify the tree map uh, chart. So if I wanted to show more contrast between the high values and the low values, uh, I could do that using this uh, color picker. So um, my max value is in blue, my min is in orange, and uh, I can also add a legend, so I'll do that. And so uh, what you're looking at here is real uh, data. Um, it's scientific papers published in the last 10 years. And so the size of the box represents the number of scientific papers that were published. And the color, in this case, represents the average citations per paper. So anything in a dark, dark blue would represent a higher average number of citations per paper. And anything in orange, in this case, uh, would represent a lower number of average citations per paper. Um, and uh, what these options let you do, they let you customize the uh, infographic. So if I wanted to, uh, right now the max and min uh, ranges are automatically set, but I could change this. Um, so I can make it fixed by clicking this radio button. And what I'll do is I'll make uh, the top end a maximum of 10 and uh, click enter. And so all of a sudden, all these uh, countries that had values above 10 are now uh, out of range. Um, so I can also customize the color of uh, the out of range values to a darker gray, um, and it automatically adjusts my uh, legend as well. So what I'll do is I'll just revert back to um, the auto function. And um, what I'll do, um, I will select a different data set, and I'll employ a different method. Um, so when I open the Edit Data button, and the uh, Excel spreadsheet appears, I can click on File and then Save As and just save on the file to um, somewhere else on my desktop. And so I've already done this. Um, and what I'll do is I will go ahead and grab a different data set um, that I call Tree Map over here. And uh, this is a data set representing different uh, fictitious projects. Um, and uh, I'll show you what that data looks like. If I click on the Edit Data button, you'll see what that data looks like. So uh, in the first column, I have the names of the projects. In the second columns, I have the value of the projects. In the third column, um, instead of average citations per paper, 
uh, it's uh, the profit margin. I don't have to uh, update this, but uh, I, I will just uh, for clarity. Um, so I'll just close this. And what I do have to update though is the label here on my legend. So um, I will just update that uh, by clicking on it and then entering the title. Okay, so um, this is a great uh, chart to show uh, a large number of projects all on one slide and then to show the ones um, that are doing very well in terms of profit margin by uh, color and then the size of the projects by the size of the rectangles and then of course the projects that aren't doing so well uh, in orange. So if I wanted to change that color maybe to something um, more drastic I could select uh, red for those. Um, and then down here, I've got more options as well. Uh, I can choose to not show the interior uh, label. So if I didn't want to show uh, the name of the projects uh, from column A in that Excel worksheet, I could do that. Um, in this case, I, I want to show that. I can also decide not to show the interior values. So the values in column B in that Excel worksheet, I could do that. Uh, but again, in this case, I do want to show that and I can also adjust the interior font size um, so I'll just make this a little bit bigger and for the projects where the box is uh, too small for that size of font uh, you don't have to worry about that it automatically uh, adjusts the size um, and then the last option is the border color so in this case it's a standard white um, but if I was presenting this maybe on a dark slide with a dark background, uh, I could adjust uh, the outline to match that background if, if I wanted to. Uh, but in this case, my background is white, and so I'll just leave it uh, white as well. Uh, so that's the tree map.